Ooh, Duke of Shadows, number 14. That simplifies to a five numbers of change. That actually has a great blurb that goes with it. I'm going to read the first little part of it to you guys. It says, Cunningly clever am I, helping you discern the truth from a lie. I remind you that half-truths may seem to be whole, yet in the shadows is information yet to be known. When the time is right, the light shall be bright, and confusion will give way to understanding. So this is a little bit of a smoke and mirrors kind of vibe. And basically using pure intuition to guide your way out of it. So let's see what supports this Duke of Shadows. I always love that card. It just kind of looks cool. Hmm. The energy is gaining momentum. King of Swords Fool trying to pop out here. Clear on a new beginning. One more? Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright. We have Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. King of Cups, Temperance, Three of Wands. Eight of Swords underneath, Ten of Swords, Devil. Okay, so this single person, that's the situation. I'm going to read this side as you, Leo, and this side as your person. This is the situation. I see that your person is also the situation. Whoever is single... <laughs> Um, whoever's been single the longest, okay, you could be, yeah, it feels like you're more newly single than this person, like you've had a relationship more recent than them. I feel like you navigated a shadow, Duke of Shadows sort of connection in the past, So you're trying to determine if this person is actually ready to move forward. And there is something substantial here because the energy is gaining momentum. But there's a clarity that you're seeking. Is this person ready to be pursued, to be in a relationship? Let's expand on this Knight of Pentacles, shall we? Star, Oop, okay. <laughs> Two of swords. Six of swords. Magician. Page of swords. Okay. So this, there's there's a little bit of destiny, <laughs> a little bit little bit of hope, a little bit of destiny in this connection in this situation. Um, there is no longer indecision about it. It went from indecision to slow moving, but it is moving. And now, conversation is being manifested about moving forward. Okay. Let's expand on your Queen of Wands here that you're showing up as. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, True Pair. So, you want to move this forward now. You want to offer your cup now. But they're the ones that are, I feel like they're usually single. 
Like, they've been, like, they've been hurt so many times. They're like, yeah, I really don't need to rush into anything. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, let's see what this Three of Pentacles is about. Seven of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're like... I am in this. I'm, I'm, I, your inner turmoil is because you have deep feelings for this person. And it's like, you, you're like, okay, I'm ready to go. Let's let's do this thing. And they're just like, ah, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, you you want to work on this thing. You want to resolve any confusion so you can move that happy, happy home life forward as quickly and passionately as possible. <laughs> Let's expand on the temperance part. It's kind of cute. <laughs> temperance, four of pentacles, emperor, hermit. Okay, that wants to come out. Ace of swords and eight of pentacles. Okay. Ace of cups on the bottom. Oof. Stuck, oof, stuck in the head. There you are, Leo. This person is stuck in their head about happiness, love and happiness. They went through the ringer previously. And because they had, this is just the thing. They did open their heart before. They had. They were brave enough to open their heart before. This is what it got them. This is what it got them. Okay. So now they don't want to do that. <laughs> <sighs> Poor thing. That, that, that sucks. It sucks when you get hurt really bad. Right? So I see effort on your part to understand your person. Okay, because it's, it's, it's almost like you kind of get a little bit of a stubborn view of them when they actually, it's really logical about the, ste the slower steps that they want to take. And it looks like you are actually going to be a bit of a guide for them to help heal Whatever this was, whatever, and to, to work on this, to unearth it, to put it out onto the table and sift through it so they can work through it and move forward with you. So that's awesome. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Yep, that Knight of Swords tried to come out again. Knight of Pentacles. I wouldn't be surprised if this entire side is all swords. Devil? Eh, close. <laughs> Ten of Cups? Yep. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Tower. Oof. Oof. Yeah, there was something that they left before that ripped their heart out. It absolutely ripped their heart out. Which is why their heart is facing that way. <laughs> and they've got their back. Even though they are waiting for you, they've kind of got their whole back to the situation. Like, eh, if it shows up. <laughs> Poor thing. So, Knight of Pentacles, Devil, Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Power. Holy. So, in you, helping them unearth this and sift through the debris is actually going to help them basically stare the previous toxic situation in the face. Resolve it. Put it to bed. Because then they see... With you, they could put this burden down. They could have this Ten of Cups. They're, and this is this is the breakthrough for them. Okay. <sighs> King of Cups. Let's expand on the King of Cups. Okay. Five of Wands. High Priestess. Knight of Cups. Seven of Swords, 
four cups, seven months. Yeah, this this is gonna kind of be, gonna be a little bit of a fight to the finish line. A little bit. Very defensive. Fair, yeah. There's just there's resistance and mm. they they might reject you the first time. Okay. They they yeah. They they might reject you the first time. This situation from before really taught them boundaries. And because they learned boundaries to such an extreme, it's kind of like, yeah, it's healthy boundaries, but it kind of turned into the Great Wall of China <laughs> that they kind of erected around them. So you're going to have to learn how to scale walls, essentially. Three of Wands. Let's expand on the Three of Wands, please. Queen of Pentacles. Justice. Fool. It's gotta come together. It's gotta come together. Can I have some Earth in their chart and Libra in their chart? They see this as a significant risk. Of course, they feel uneasy about taking it, but one more on the four. There it is, four swords. That'll work. Healing the situation. There are deep feelings here. There is deep passion here. All the wands and the moon. Deep feelings and passion here. Get a little more on that tower before heading over to the extended. So I'm seeing that this Duke of Shadows energy helping you discern the truth from a lie. You're gonna I'd actually be helping this person with that, with the with this past situation that really messed up their heart. And you're also going to see this person isn't being Stubborn, they are truly protecting themselves, okay? That's the truth from the lie. Okay, the tower. Let's expand on that, please, before we move on. Queen of Pentacles, tower again. Knight of Cups, strength. Ace of Cups. Six of swords. Beautiful, 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 beautiful true pair. There you guys are. Look. Coming in, coming in hot. Coming in hot. There you are. King and Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So there is a breakthrough with this conversation. It doesn't look like this is one conversation, okay? <laughs> It does, this this is not one conversation this this is this is a series of conversations um if it is one conversation it's one long freaking conversation this person knows you won't do to them what the previous one did to them but they've heard someone say that to them before so they're going to still have a knee jerk reaction to be like wait okay but they are, you are helping them complete significant cycles. And as you do that, when that breakthrough hits, this gets to move. It's to move. It's to move.